Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. All right, turning to the weather, it's probably going to be a really good weekend to get out and see all the foliage. We're starting to see some really pretty colors. Absolutely. There's a lot of colors that are starting to pop. We've been having a lot of sunny and warm days, and the cool overnights is really starting to push things along. We got this photo in this morning from Michael Jerome out at Belvedere Pond. This photo was actually taken yesterday, but look at yeah, I mean, some areas are already getting a bit close to peak color. Lots of vivid colors there with the orange and red. So things really starting to move along. We have a little bit of a cloudy and showery day today for some of us. But this weekend and onwards into next week, we still have lots of sunshine and warm days that will continue to push our colors in the right direction. But checking in on our dry spell for Burlington, still expecting a total of 17 days. So far up until yesterday, nine straight days of no rain. And when you include today in the next seven days, that'll add up to eight more. So adding up to 17 in total. Again, the last time we saw a span this long was back in 2017. So tracking our dry stretch here, there is some wet weather in southern New England into southern Vermont today, but this weekend all the way through next Friday, our region will be staying dry. So little to no rain expected, especially in northern areas like Burlington all the way through uh, Friday, October 6th. So on Storm Tracker, yes, there is some wet weather into southern New England, but high pressure off to the north is keeping basically the northern half of our region dry for areas like Burlington and northern New York. Here's a lot of the wet weather though some embedded downpours into central and western massachusetts into connecticut and even into the new york city metro area we have numerous flash flood warnings ongoing right now in the rain the last six hours about two to four inches plus right into new york city spanning north and east into southwestern portions of connecticut even got a report of about six inches of rain this morning for brooklyn new york so not nearly that amount of wet weather going on here northern areas just have the clouds uh, for the Champlain Valley, but some showers into central Vermont towards Randolph and Brandon, and then south of there, some steadier and heavier rain ongoing for places like Springfield, Brattleboro, and over towards Wilmington right now. Temperatures on the cool side as a result of all the cloud cover, 63 in Malone, a 63 as well for Burlington, but more like low to mid 50s towards areas like St. J and Middlebury and Point South and East from there. So a cool afternoon, still a few showers ongoing to the south through this evening but drier to the north. Even a few sunny breaks possible just in time for sunset and then overnight the most clearing will be across northern New York and that'll be the brightest spot as we go through the day tomorrow. See how clouds are really stubborn across Vermont at least through the morning. By the afternoon though the Champlain Valley northern Vermont will see some more peaks of sun. The further south and east you are tomorrow especially towards the Connecticut River Valley will be cloudier but then on Sunday we have a mostly sunny day from start to finish so much improvement in terms of a brighter day and that'll carry on into much of this upcoming work week. So 10 day forecast has a cloudy sky cool with some showers to the south this afternoon. Tomorrow though we see increasing sun especially to the north and then mostly sunny 76 on Sunday as October begins and look at the warm up as we head into mid next week low 80s likely Tuesday through Thursday. So we'll be feeling like summer before we start to cool off and see the chance for showers by next weekend. Surrey.